Good evening, I'm Desmond Sager. And I'm Miles Duncan. And this is KPHX. We have a very special story, Dave Chappelle. Now, Dave Chappelle has been on and off his acting career, but recently is getting back into the game. From starring in his role Shy Rock in 2015, to starring in Saturday Night Live on November 12th of this year. Live in Goodyear, Arizona, Veronica J is going around asking opinions about his return. Do you guys think this is the start of a new comeback? Let's take a look. Hi, uh, thank you, Miles. Thank you, Desmond. I'm here with Rakaya Finley, uh, and we are we're going to see what she thinks about the return of Dave Chappelle on SNL. What did you think of the SNL episode? It was like really funny, but like I kind of didn't understand all the humor because only 14 it seemed like it was pretty dirty. Um, do you think Dave Chappelle is going to come back with the start of his uh, career again? Uh, no, because, like like I said, his humor is kind of dirty, and, like, I don't feel like a lot of TV would like that, uh, like, in this generation. Do you think that Dave Chappelle is going to come back with his career in television and movies? Um, possibly. I mean, he kind of disappeared rather abruptly, so it seems like he's back, so sure. What did you think of the SNL episode? I thought it was hilarious. Um, Dave Chappelle is one of the great comedians of his time. It was sad when he kind of left TV, um, but to see him back at it was phenomenal. And then to see A Tribe Called Quest perform was even better. So I loved it. Um, do you think uh, his co his comedy was a bit controversial for today? Um, yes, but I think that's what makes him great. Like if you're sensitive, you may get um, you may get your feelings hurt a little bit. But the great comedians of their era, whether it's Richard Pryor whether it was even Bill Cosby before all the nonsense that happened with him. Um, but they were controversial figures, and they would push the envelope. And I think that's what makes a great comedian, not afraid to take a chance and um, be controversial. But that's, what's ma that's what makes him a great comedian. Okay, and do you think this is uh, just another surprise appearance, or do you think this is a whole other step to his career going on? I hope this is like a a uh, stepping stone of just another tour or another show or a comedy CD or something. We need to see more from Dave Chappelle. He's one of the, again, one of the great comedians of this era. Um, you know, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, Martin Lawrence, Richard Pryor. He's on that short list of all time greats. Um, so to see him back at it, he's comfortable. I think he felt good and we missed it. So um, hopefully this is the start of something special. And I'm here with Mr. Brodsky. Uh, are you familiar with the comedian uh, Dave Chappelle? Who? I can't believe that one guy didn't know who Dave Chappelle was. Yeah, man. Some people just have no taste in comedians. I'm sorry. I need to control myself. We're on live TV. It's okay. So, Veronica, how come that person did not like Dave Chappelle? Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Desmond. And to answer your question, Dave Chappelle has very controversial comedy. In his sketches, he talks about cocaine addictions, gangs, and many sensitive topics that people may easily get offended by. Um, but that is one of the things that makes him great, as Mr. Jenkins has said. And to me, I think he's an uh, excellent comedian. This is Veronica Jurado, reporting live in Goodyear, KPHX Channel 7 News. Thanks for listening to us today. I'm Desmond Sager. And I'm Miles Duncan. And this is KPHX. Signing off. <laughs>